Let me start this off by saying that this is not a conspiracy theory, but rather, there are certain things about the moon landings that puzzle me, and I have questions. I suppose my main question would be, is why haven't we returned to the moon in almost 40 years now? 39 and a half years to be more precise. When you ask someone this question, the first thing they cite is cost. They say it's just too expensive. Well, okay, but if it was so expensive to go to the moon, then how were we able to send six missions to the moon in just three and a half years? So cost doesn't seem to be the problem. If it wasn't then, it certainly shouldn't be now. With technology, how much it's advanced, it should be a lot cheaper, if anything, to go to the moon. Okay, the next thing people cite is that there's no other reason to go to the moon. That we went and we did what we wanted to do, and that's it. There's no other reason to go. But that's not true either. What about setting up observatories on the moon? Telescopes. Especially because there's no atmosphere on the moon, which would help the telescopes get a better, uh, unrestricted view of the universe. Or how about drilling for water? See how much water actually is on the moon. And again, if we do find water, that would help us set up uh, bases, observatories on the moon. And not just our country. What about other countries? Why haven't they been? You would think that maybe someone from Russia or China, or maybe even the Middle East, they want to send someone to the moon. Of course, they couldn't say they're the first people to go to the moon. But the second, the Russians were the second people to go to the moon. Or Chinese, or Saudi Arabian. It's like Mount Everest. The first person who went to Mount Everest, they scaled it, and it wasn't like everyone else said, oh, well, someone's already been to Mount Everest, no reason to go back. People continued to go, but not the moon. So that puzzles me. And another thing that puzzles me is who went to the moon. The only people who've ever been to the moon, the 12 people who ever stepped foot on the moon, were from one country, the United States. And those people went to the moon under the presidency of one man, Richard Nixon, whom, I may add, later resigned from the presidency because he was involved in nefarious behavior. But again, let me reiterate that this is not a conspiracy theory. And it's just that I have questions.